inverse of a matrix. You will find this on page 567 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Inverse of a matrix. The inverse of a square matrix A, sometimes called the reciprocal matrix, is a matrix A to the power negative 1, such that if I take the matrix, multiply it by its inverse, I will get I. I, which, where I is the identity or the unit matrix. Can you recall from previous videos? 1, 1, and the rest zeros. Now, if you have a normal number, 4, and you take the reciprocal of 4, so it's 4 over 1, so the reciprocal will be 1 over 4. Now, when we multiply a number by its reciprocal, we get 1. So if you take 4 and you multiply it by a quarter, you will get, that is not, you will get 1. Now, matrix. If you take a matrix, let me just show you the highlighter. If you take a matrix, and then this will be the reciprocal. And if you multiply it by each other, you will get I, which is the unit matrix. So when we multiply a matrix by its inverse, we get the identity matrix, which is like one for matrices. Okay, let's look. It looks more complicated, but it's not so complicated. So if, if I look, if this is A, make it A, B, C, D, the elements. Now the inverse will be 1 over, can you still remember what that, this vertical lines mean? Determinant. Now, so I must work out the determinant, so it's 1 divided by the determinant. Now, do you look, focus there? focus there. What did I do? I was just swapping this diagonal, the values, the elements. And what did I do with this two? Look there. I did not swap it. I was just changing the signs. Negative, negative. So if it's a negative, it becomes a positive. And if it's a positive, it becomes a negative. Now to find the inverse, it's just the determinant. Can you still remember the determinant? I multiply the diagonal and I subtract by multiplying also this diagonal, the product. So it's the product of the diagonals that I just subtract. And basically, can you recall, I swap and I change signs. And then I just take this value and I multiply it with all the elements inside. Now let's look at an example. So if A, if this is A, so first the determinant. Now can you recall, 4 times 2, what is 4 times 2? That's 8. 1 times negative 3, that's negative 3. And then the negative and the negative will become positive, so it's 3 plus 8, which will give me that 11. And then look here, I swap. So then this one, oh sorry, it's this one that I swapped. There it's already swapped. So then this will become 2 and this will become 4. And then I change signs. So this negative will become a positive and this one will become a negative. And then basically I just do scalar multiplication. The same here. First find the determinant. So 1 times negative 2 minus 3 times 15. So it's negative 2, negative 15 and that will be negative 17. So what do I do now? I swap and I change the signs. Okay, so if I change the signs, then this is going to become negative, negative, and there I swapped. And then I just multiply, 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 and that's my final answer. Now what's the problem with C? Now look, if you work out the determinant, 2 times 2, that's 4, 1 times 4, that's 4, and 4 minus 4 is 0, so the inverse of C does not exist because the determinant of C is zero. So if, if the determinant is zero, there is no inverse. Okay, let's just look. If I take now the matrix and I multiply it by its inverse, can you still remember how did we do that? We take a row and we multiply by the column. We take a row and we multiply by the column. We take a row and a multiply by a column. 
we take the row and we multiply by the column. And then we just simplify that. We add the fractions, subtract the fractions, and check there. You are getting the unit matrix or the identity matrix. Okay. Let's look at an example. In this example, it's also a few examples. So for each matrix, find the inverse of if the inverse exists. It all depends on the determinant. So if I look at this one, so if I say 0 times 2, that's negative, negative 2, that's 0. And that will be what? That will be 24. Okay, so it's 0 minus 24, so the determinant will be negative 24. Now, can you recall, I swap, did you see there, I just want to show you, I swap that too, and I change signs, positive, positive. And then I just multiply, 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 and I can simplify the final answers. If I do Q, a Q, First the determinant, negative 6 times negative 6, that will be positive 36, minus 0, and so it will just be 36. Then check again, I swap, so it's staying actually negative 6, I change the signs, now leave it 0, is just 0, it's not positive, also not negative, so it's just 0. So 0 and that sign change from a positive to a negative. And then I just go and I multiply, 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 and I simplify and I get this. And then the final one, look, if you get the determinant negative 9 times negative 2, what will that be? 18 minus, and this will be positive 18. So it's 18 minus 18, which is 0. So if the inverse of R does not exist because the determinant of R is 0. Okay, stop the video and do try now 11, number A, B, and D. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start with number A. First write down what is the matrix. 0, 6, 4, 5. So what's the question? Even at the inverse of each matrix, if the inverse exists. So when does it exist? When the determinant is not zero. Okay. So if I'm starting with that one, I'm just going to start and I'm going to try to do it in one step. So basically, I just first going to find my determinant. So zero, I'm, go I'm going to write it out. Zero times five minus four times six. Now remember, I swap and I change signs. Okay, so if I have this one, this is 0 and that's negative 24. Okay, and then it's like this. And then I just do scalar multiplication. So this will be, okay, there's my bracket. This will be 5 over negative 24. Okay, I'm first going to just write it as it is and then simplify afterwards. Okay, and then this one is going to be negative 4 over 24, negative 24. And this one is going to be 0 over negative 24. And then this one is going to be neg negative, it's just in front. This one, it's um, 4 can go into tw it's 6, so it's going to be 1 over 6. Because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. This is the same here. So, but now it's 6, so it's a quarter. And this will just become 0. And this is then the inverse. If I multiply this two, I will get the unit matrix. Okay, I'm just every time to make space, I think I'm just going to clean it. To, to get space for the next one. Okay. So number B, um, I think I wanted to take another color for B. So number B, what will this be? Let's just write it down. Number B was 
negative 5 and 4 and 3 and 2. Okay, so the inverse. How do I find the inverse? Remember, to the power negative 1. That's indicating the inverse. So first, the determinant. So it's negative 5 times 2 minus 3 times 4. Okay, and then I swap. And then I change signs. And then it's 1 over, okay, and this is now going to become negative 10, and this is negative 12. So that will be negative 22. And then I'm, I already did this, and I'm just going to multiply it by this. I can just control to see if I already swapped and changed signs. Yes, I did. And if I multiply this in, I'm going to get 2, okay, 2 over negative 22. This is going to be negative 3 over negative 22. This is going to be negative 4 over negative 22. This is going to be negative 5 over negative 22. And then this is going to be negative one, and I'm just simplifying. You can even use your calculator. Negative divide negative is a positive, so it's just going to stay 3 over 22. And then this one, it's going to be um, 4, can it's just 2 that can divide into that, so it's 2 over 11. Negative divide negative, positive, the same here, and this is 5 over 20. Two. And that's my final, and that's my inverse. Remember, if you multiply, I want to show you. I want to use another color. So, if you take and you multiply it by the inverse, and you can test, you will always get the unit matrix. Okay, and then the last one, let's just do the last one. Okay, and then the last one, let's take red, and that's number D. So if you look at D, first D, D, first write it down. So it's 2 and 7, and negative 2 and negative 7. And then to find the inverse. Now, if you look first, I, I'm going to start writing, okay, I'm writing it, but it looks so the same. So I just want to show you, if you find the determinant, it's going to be 2 times negative 7, and it's going to be subtract negative, you can already see it's going to be 0. So this is going to be negative 14 minus negative 14, which is going to be negative 14 plus 14, which is going to be 0. So therefore, you are going to say the inverse the inverse of D does not exist because the determinant of D is zero. Okay, and that's how we do it.